Yeah, hi there. And these comments are for Mansoor. This is Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And uh, let's take a look at your question. So, you got some goals. You say, I, I would like to study a master's degree in Australia in Melbourne University, a master's of information technology computing. So I need to make this score as part of an English requirements. So you need to get 79, you need to get 21 on the writing, 18 on the speaking, 13 on the reading, and 13 on the writing. So I think that your question here is, is how long you say, uh, um, how long will it take you to reach your goal? Now, the only thing I don't know is what your current existing Eng Eng English abilities are. I'm guessing they're probably not that high right now. You're probably around a intermediate to high intermediate level, um, what we call user of academic English. So you have a ways to go. And uh, my best guess right now, of course, I can't be exactly certain because I don't know exactly your situation in terms of your English proficiency, but I'm guessing about three months. You'll probably need to use my course for about three months to get or to reach the goals that you seek. Now, first of all, let's talk about writing. And I'll talk about how I can help you improve your writing score. So, my online course, Mansoor, has a vocabulary section, it has a grammar section, and a writing section. So vocabulary is very, very important for you to improve in all areas of the test, including the writing, as well as speaking, reading, and listening, right? So that's going to be very good for you. What you want to do is to learn all 1,700 of my TOEFL vocabulary words, and that's going to have a very big impact on your overall score. Now, in addition, I have a grammar section of my course that can help you minimize the kinds of errors that you're making right now in both your writing and your speaking. So you definitely want to complete the grammar part of my course as well. Finally, I have a writing section which has 40 independent writing practice tests. Now, I'm in the process of adding another 30 integrated writing practice tests, and currently I have 10. But probably by the next two weeks, you'll have 80 different writing practice tests that you can take to help you improve your independent and your integrated uh, writing practice tests. Now, how does it work? You record, or actually, you go to my website and take the, the writing practice test. You send me a quick email, and then about, about a day later, you will get a score. You'll get a score with some comments to help you see how you scored or to help you understand why you scored how you scored. Alright, so I think I have a lot of really good lessons to help you with your writing. Uh, in the speaking part of my course, check this out, I have over 300 independent writing uh, speaking prompts, I should say, 300 independent speaking prompts that you can practice beginning today. And you can record these online at one of two Voxipop discussion groups. Either my Better TOEFL Scores Voxipop discussion group, Mansoor, or you can record these at my 7-step system Voxipop uh, uh, discussion group. So, also with the speaking, something that's very popular at my course, it is my Speak Clearly part of my course. I have about 50 hours of instruction to help you improve your pronunciation of English so you can speak more clearly. So that's also going to be very, very important for you. So in the reading part of my course, again, the, the, I think the most, the most important thing I can do with reading, and I also suggest that you use a reading book, a TOEFL reading book, so you can take practice tests directly at your house. You can read those passages. But at my online course, I have over 70 different speed... <coughs> excuse me. I have 70 speed reading tests to improve your reading speed from 100 to 350 words a minute with 80% comprehension. So that's going to be very important for you. Also, my reading, the reading part of my course, 
Uh, it has the IBT reading question types, all of them, and the specific strategies for answering each of those questions. So that's also going to be important for you. Now remember, if, you, if you're really serious about reading, now the good thing in your situation is you don't have to get a really high score on the reading to reach your goal, but if you're serious about really improving your reading, you want to do five things. Number one, you want to practice reading extensively about 45 minutes every day for several months. Read newspapers, magazines, longer books. Number two, build your vocabulary. You need to increase your vocabulary. That's also very important. Number three, you want to improve your reading speed to at least 300 words a minute with 80% comprehension. Number four, you want to make sure you become familiar with the IBT reading question types and the strategies, Mansoor, for answering them. And then the last thing you want to do, the last thing, and do it in this order, is you should take reading practice test, TOEFL level reading practice test, and when you're done, do an analysis of the test. Look at which answers you missed and why, and then look at why the correct answer is better than your choice. So if you go through those five specific things, that really, really helps your overall reading comprehension. You will do much better. And in your situation, you want to get a master's degree anyway, so you need, really, Mansoor, you have to increase your reading speed, or it's going to be very tough for you to finish all the reading assignments that you're going to have at Melbourne University. Uh, finally, let's talk about listening. Uh, at my website, I think as you work in the pronunciation part of my course, that's going to be very helpful for your listening because it'll be easier for you to understand the pronunciation of the native speakers in the lectures that you're listening to uh, on the TOEFL exam. Now, in my listening part of my course, I have about 40 different listening practice tests to help measure your comprehension. I also have about 15 to 20 different listening lessons all designed to improve your ability to note take and to listen to authentic English from native speakers and to understand the different kinds of questions you'll be asked during the listening section of the test. And there you go. So I've given you some basic uh, ideas and I hope I've answered your question. And I, I, I can tell you this, usually students who use my course they increase their TOEFL score about five to ten points for each month that they use my course. Now we don't know what your baseline is right now because I don't know what your current score is but like I said in the very beginning of the video Mansoor I recommend that you use my course for about three months. Here's what you can do. For the first month you can focus in the vocabulary, pronunciation, and the grammar parts of my course. For the second month you can focus in the reading and the listening parts of my course. And then for the final month, you can focus in the writing and the speaking sections of my course. Now, I would recommend, even though speaking and writing is the third month, uh, I think it's a good idea, even during the first month, to start submitting writing and speaking practice tests online for me to go to score and to grade and evaluate. So that way, for, for the whole 90 days, if you complete, let's say, 100 independent speaking uh, tasks this month, and then next month, and the third month, that's 300. That's going to be very, very helpful for you, right? If you complete all 80 of my independent and integrated writing practice tests between now and then the third month, you're definitely going to be moving in the right direction. Now, I'm warning you. Once you become one of my students, it's not the funnest thing in the world, but to be honest with you, I'm going to have to tell you everything you're doing wrong. Now, that's not fun, but I tell you what your problems are so that you can solve them and you can move forward with your English language proficiency. So be prepared to accept some criticism, some suggestions, and it's, it's all being done to help you improve your overall existing English abilities. Okay, anyway, have a great day and uh, Happy New Year and all the best to your high scoring TOEFL success.